From medical implants to parts on the surface of Mars, solar atmosphere's thermal processing has added value to scores of critical products over the last 30 years. With deep roots in metallurgy and the science of vacuum furnaces, solar enters its fourth decade as the largest commercial vacuum heat treater in the United States and has earned its reputation for innovation, superior quality, and service. Let's take a look at how one man's inspiration grew into three generations of leaders shaping the industry. Solar story begins with another company which laid the foundation for its birth, Vacuum Furnace Systems, founded by Solar CEO William R. Jones and his wife Myrtle. Our real goal would have been to go into the heat treating business right off, but we just didn't have the money to do that. So we decided that uh, we would go into the furnace business. I said, I don't care if, if you want to go into another company or start your own company, but I don't care if you go pump gas, just as long as we're together. He decided that this is what he wanted to do. There was a huge financial risk to us personally. We were required to put all of our assets into the company. Over the next several years, Vacuum Furnace Systems flourished and established itself as a success. By 1983, the time had come for William Jones to realize his dream of owning a vacuum heat treating business. Mr. Jones' son, Roger, joined him in his new enterprise. I really started out uh, running furnaces on the ground floor. Uh, our very first furnace was an old uh, bottom loading furnace that we bought from a junkyard. So we started out with used equipment and then we built upon that. In 1992, after 10 years of rapid growth, construction was completed in Souderton, Pennsylvania on a new 24,000 square foot facility designed for maximum efficiency and safety. A year later, in 1998, the vacuum brazing side of the business was booming. To continue to provide customers with exceptional service, Solar acquired an additional 10,000 square foot building just down the road in Hatfield. By the turn of the century, Solar Atmospheres had enjoyed fast success and geographically broadened its customer base. In 2001, Solar Atmospheres of Western Pennsylvania opened to better service customers and seize an opportunity to support the growing titanium market outside of Pittsburgh. We hired a man by the name of Bob Hill and Bob was um, instrumental in getting us started and finding a facility in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. Mr. Hill became the president of Solar Atmospheres of Western Pennsylvania and took the reins on a 50,000 square foot state-of-the-art plant focused on the vacuum heat treating of large parts and workloads for the titanium, aerospace, and power generation industries. Western Pennsylvania's showcase of supersized, world-class furnaces started with an innovative 24-footer. The first 24-foot furnace was driven by the product to, to, to hold a very heavy workload, which um, has been done before, but never uh, to the operating temperatures that ours was to operate, nor with that heavy weight, and nor with a deep operating vacuum. Over the next several years, Solar of Western Pennsylvania added several new 24 and 12 foot long furnaces and expanded their facility to 70,000 square feet. These high-tech furnaces were built by sister company, Solar Manufacturing, a globally known innovator in vacuum furnace design and custom manufacturing. In 2007, Western Pennsylvania welcomed an enormous 36-foot vacuum car bottom furnace, the largest commercial vacuum heat treating furnace in the world, processing loads as heavy as 150,000 pounds. Back in Souderton, industry-leading technology was being born from the unique relationship between solar atmospheres and solar manufacturing. The two collaborated on research and development and pioneered the new low-pressure vacuum carburizing process, which created many new benefits and opportunities for Solar's current and future customers. Low-pressure vacuum carburizing brought to the industry a new level of process control and quality, and this coupled with high-pressure gas quenching results in clean parts with no intergranular oxidation. The companies also worked together to patent a new process for vacuum nitriding. We took a different approach from others that perform conventional gas nitriding and coupled it with a vacuum furnace. This has given us rapid furnace purging and high control of the nitriding potentials 
and the composition of the nitride and gas and the oxidizing atmosphere as well. The furnace also provides rapid heating and cooling rates and the ability to perform bright tempering, making it a very flexible furnace. The success of these technological advancements and the growth of the Western Pennsylvania plant spurred solar sales to new heights. In 2010, solar knew that the next step in their evolution was to venture into a new state. It's always been a dream of my grandfather to be established on the West Coast. We saw a need for there to be a quality established heat treater. After some research, we knew Southern California would be it. Next part after that is deciding what person would run it out there. And we found that person in Derek Dennis. Mr. Dennis helped found Solar Atmospheres of California in Fontana to support the prospering aerospace industry and a variety of others. The 25,000 square foot plant was built with energy efficient design features and is situated on a 2.5 acre greenfield site. This facility now houses the largest furnace on the west coast at 24 feet long. Of course, opening a new plant over 2,500 miles away was not an easy task. One of the bigger challenges, I believe, was getting the approvals of the primes, like Pratt & Whitney and GE and, and Boeing. They have all those approvals, so they did it in a, in a really quick timeline. Solar Atmospheres of California quickly gained West Coast market share and is now celebrating its third successful year of business. Solar Atmospheres of Western Pennsylvania recently amplified their capabilities with a cutting-edge 20-bar gas-quenching furnace developed in conjunction with solar manufacturing. Its excessive pressure and high-speed gas velocities provide a cleaner and greener alternative to oil quenching and minimizes part distortion. Over the years, solar has been recognized for its excellence in the heat treating industry and as an outstanding supplier. Among these honors are two Heat Treater of the Year awards from Industrial Heating Magazine and the Metal Treating Institute. William Jones was recently acknowledged for his lifetime achievements in entrepreneurial success by the ASM Heat Treating Society. A large part of solar's progression has been its active involvement in a number of industry associations. In 1983, we joined both ASM International, the Philadelphia chapter, as well as MTI, the Metal Treating Institute. Both of those organizations have uh, been with us and the company has grown with both of those organizations uh, throughout the years. It has been an exciting first 30 years for Solar Atmospheres, a privately owned family business with big thinking Many have contributed to making the solar name synonymous with superior vacuum heat treating and excellent service. If it wasn't the people that are here every day doing their job, solar wouldn't be here. So it's the people that run the business, it's not the Jones family. Continually investing in our people and educating them and training them is, is a very key part to making this company run and continuous growth over the next 30 years. From day one to today, it's not one person, it's not one individual, it is the people that have built us from where we are today, which I'm very thankful for. I always talk about the people in the company as the company. It's, it's not me, it's the people in the company that build the company, operate it, and run it. Many things have changed over the last 30 years, but one thing has remained constant, the spirit of innovation at Solar Atmospheres. With its solid foundation, Solar is poised to accept the challenges ahead and continue to advance the industry into the next 30 years and beyond.